Hi everyone, welcome to Granny's Sewing Room. This is just a short little video I wanted to put up showing you how I do or how I use my uh, short throw projector file. I'm gonna cut out some pieces to the next bag I'm making, uh, show you some of the mistakes and the problems with my table and it's just gonna be a bunch of little cut up videos that I've done uh, just kind of showing you how my projector works and why I love it so much and why once it's all set up correctly, I'll really love it. Hey, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. So I hope you enjoy the video I put together of me uh, using my projector to cut some files. And if you're on the fence of wanting a projector, I hope this helps. Projector that I'm using, it, I got it off of eBay for like a hundred and just a little over a hundred dollars. It's called a short throw. It's an Epson uh, 485W and they have different, different kind of these types of um, projectors on eBay and you can pick up fairly cheap. They're a lot easier to install, I think, once you get it set up and you can leave it and adjust the sides. I'm just kind of using patterns and stuff. But I want to get it so it's set up. I have a shelf or however I'm going to do it and leave it and get it calibrated so I don't have to mess with it every time. And a table that's under it that it will be able to project use the whole table for its projection and then cutting out patterns would be simple so okay i thought i'd show you a, a projector file that i'm going to cut out and how it is projecting on my uh, mat here you've got to measure the two inch square i don't know if you can see it and make sure it lines up there and it lines up fairly well. So I am going to lay my fabric down and cut out my pieces and I'll show you how I do it. So hang on. All right, I put little weights down on, the, on, on my fabric to help hold it down as I am, that's interfacing, as I am cutting it out. So I'm starting to cut out the vinyl and it says measure this is for the magnetics uh, so I'm just drawing on it before I cut it out and this is E top Here I have my whole bag, all the pieces laid out over here on my cutting table and ironing station. So I did manage to work on the flap, just the flap part. This is what the bag will look like. Maroon with flowers. I thought that looked cute. So, but I am going to do some assembling. 
Uh, this is my first attempt at this bag, so I already know some of the changes. I did some shortcuts. Nah, you better follow the pattern uh, precisely because I don't like how thin the uh, slots are. It called for interfacing the whole length of it, and I didn't do it. I tried to be chimsy because I was out of interfacing, but this is going to be just my bag. So my next one that I'm making for someone uh, will have it done right. But see how slick that just cut them out? I went ahead and printed the pattern out because I want to have the file on hand. Um, I'm, I'm printing all my bag patterns out just because I want them uh, ready so when I uh, want to pick out that bag I know know what I need. I don't need to but I want to until I run out of room I guess then I'll stick with just the embro or the uh, projector files. Alright so this is how I have it so far. This is me over here sewing until my machine gets there. Hey, if you like my video, please hit that thumbs up and hit the little bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. And don't forget to share my video so others can see too. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. You have a great week. God bless. And until next time, bye-bye.